So I have a lot of paint left on my palette because I have this terrible problem of putting out too much paint every single time. Then I start another project and I don't have enough, so I put more down. It, it's just a never-ending thing. So I thought, while I have this here and to use it up, I'll show you one of my favorite ways to use a stencil. Um, here I just have a piece of paper. It can be anything. This just happens to be a piece of Bristol paper that I had sitting here. Um, I love to make paper to cut up use other places or I would just when this was done I would use it um, as an insert a flap in my planner to take one stencil and I usually I love little stencils as you can tell from most of my stencils um, I love to take either the four by fours or the six by sixes and just make a whole page of the stencil so <clears throat> all I have is some craft sponges over to the side and I don't change my craft sponge I just use the one throughout this whole process. And what I do is I just start and I pounce. Now, this, you, you don't want a lot of paint, but it, we're not doing particular crisp stenciling here. This is just to get a pretty piece of paper. So I usually go all over, pouncing up and down. Of course, not too much paint and keep going in. I will stick it in both colors at the same time. And I just take it and keep stenciling. Okay, I don't even do the whole stencil. So then I move it over and maybe go on top of it. Maybe take a little bit more of that cream in there. Go around. And I keep proceeding to do this until all the paint's gone. Um, sometimes I'll come in and I'll do and put down some paint first like this. And then I'll take the cream, go over it, I'm never changing my sponge, always using the same, you can see I have too much paint, it's going underneath the stencil, I don't care. So as you can see you're, you're getting different variations here, sometimes I'll turn it over and I'll stamp it just to get some other little cool things, I love when this happens with stencils. Um, I'll just go back with the different colors and you can see here I had just stuck it in the cream got a really light color so you go back and forth and you just keep going layer over layer over layer same two colors and you get a really interesting piece sometimes um, I'll bring in a darker color but you don't have to believe me if you keep doing this I could spend all day doing this actually. <laughs> so if you take both colors on here and just stencil around, you could see I am using way too much paint, but I just thin it out over the stencil because I want that look here to get all different. And these make great background starts for an art journal page. If you don't know what to do on that white page, I know a lot of people have trouble with that. Um, this is a great start. Just, just start like this and you will get so many different layers and fun in here. And then what you can do is you can cut this apart and if you love a piece, like I love what's happening right here, but really I will go on like this until all my paint is done. And you can see you get different variations. So let me finish this up and then I'll insert a picture of it. Well, I was going to just insert a picture, but I figured I'd just keep going because it's more fun to figure out how it actually happens. Okay, so as you can see, I'm still going. Still, now I'm lightening it up a little bit by adding some of the cream. And I'm just about out of the red color. And I'll just show you up close here. And you can see all the different layers that are in there. And if you visualize it being like this, you can see that it, it's just a great background way to start. 